As many leagues around Europe come to a close, there is still plenty of football to be played over in Italy. Who's going to join Juventus and Napoli in the Champions League? We'll talk about it next. That's right folks, back once again with another prediction video, this time looking forward to match day number 37 in the 2018-2019 Serie A season, we'll get to that in just one second, if you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to keep your bang up to date with all things Serie A related, Papa Rovers related, woo, football related, we're going to all here under one roof. Now before we take a look at match day number 37, we're going to go all the way back and take a look back at match day number 36 and see how many predictions I got right and of course how many we got wrong. So kicking off last weekend's matches, it was Atalanta up against Genoa and Atalanta picking up a big fat 2-1 win over Genoa to give themselves a big old boost in their search for Champions League football. That makes it four wins on the spin for Atalanta. Uh, they are the hottest team in the division alongside Roma, would you believe it or not? But realistically, Atalanta are the hot team because they've won four in the bounce. No other team has got that record as it stands. I saw it as a 2-0 win in favour of Atalanta as well. So got that one pretty much close to the money, boys. Uh, Cagliari took on Lazio and Lazio again picking up a bit. Big fat away win, 2-1 win uh, away from home to give themselves an outside shot of Europa League football. That puts them into eighth spot in the table. Uh, a bit of hot and cold uh, form book for Lazio. What, uh, a win and a loss, win and a loss, win and a loss. Uh, and wrapping up with a big fat win uh, right now. So three wins and three uh, defeats in the past six games. Actually, so it's a 1 0 win for Cagliari. So, how wrong was I, boys? How wrong was I? Meanwhile, Fiorentina took on AC Milan, and AC Milan continued their shot of Champions League football as well. Uh, put, keeps them into fifth spot. 1-0 uh, win over Fiorentina in the end. And AC Milan's form book is looking pretty steady as well. Just two defeats out of the past six games. Actually, so it was a 3-2 victory in favour of uh, AC Milan. So got the right result. Uh, just a little bit more generous with the goals. Uh, Torino took on South Sulio. And Torino picking up a massive 3-2 win at home. And Torino's form is also pretty shit hot as it stands. Unbeaten at least six games. Three, three draws and three wins in the past six. So not too shabby indeed. Actually, so it was a 2-0 win in favour of Torino as well. So again, correct result, incorrect scoreline. Uh, moving on to Sampdoria against Ampoli. Now Sampdoria, uh, what have they got on the table? Not much on the table really. I think they're going to be safe. Uh, they are safe in mid-table, mid 49 points on the board after their defeat to Ampoli. And that victory for Ampoli uh, gives them a big old boost. Uh, if they are going to survive in this division, they are still in 18th spot. Two wins on the spin now for Ampoli, but still in the drop zone as it stands. But that could all change uh, in the next week or so. Uh, I saw it as a one They'll win for Sampdoria, so I've got that one wrong uh, as well. So, okay, so far, predictions at the first five, two wrong, three close to the money. Mima Fossioni took on Udinese, and Udinese picking about an important 3-1 win away from home, and that gives themselves a boost uh, as they try and get themselves out of the old drop zone contention. That's the first win in six and for Udinese. Actually, saw so it was a nil-nil draw, folks, so we've got that one wrong. Uh, Spau took on Napoli. Obviously, Spau hot and cold this season. Safe as houses in the middle of the table in 11th spot, 42 points on the board. Um... Uh, yeah, they, they, they cannot go down. Um, I think 41 points is is the cutoff. So Cagliari from 12th down could still get relegated. Uh, but Spal did lose to Napoli 2-1 away from home. Uh, well, away from home for Napoli. Uh, Spal were playing at home. Actually, so it's a 3-1 win for Napoli. So it got close to the mark as well. Uh, Roma took on Juventus and Juventus slipped up. But they don't really care. They've, they've already on their vacation. Uh, they've got nothing to play for. They've been champions for a long time. But the defeats... It's not. It's actually good form for Juventus at the moment, uh, with just two wins at the past six games, and they haven't picked up a win uh, in at least three. So it's it's not too great. So uh, two 0 win for Roma. Actually, sort of going in the other way for Juventus, um, but no. So uh, Ranieri's boys, the nicest man of football, does still have an outside shot of Champions League football, but he will not be there next season. I think uh, Roma have already tied up their manager. I don't know who it is. Uh, Rumour has it could be well. It's not going to be Conte. Um, who 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 was linked uh, today in 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 the recent uh, news? I can't I can't remember. But anyway, it's going to be exciting times next season because uh, I believe Roma will have a new manager. Bologna took on Parma as well, and Bologna picked up a master four one win over Parma, and that pushes them up to thirty for the table. Still not safe for the drop just yet. But getting close to the mark. I actually saw it was a 2 1 win going in favour of Bologna. So not too shabby, just two goals adrift. But ultimately got the right result. And Inter Milan took on Kievo. Both of these games were on Monday. Uh, and Inter Milan picking up a 2 0 win over Kievo. I actually saw it was a 3 1 win. So got the right amount or, or the goal deficit uh, between two sides. Right result, uh, just incorrect scoreline. So that win for Inter pushes them into third spot. Uh, one point ahead of Atalanta. Four points clear of the chasing pack. 
Uh, realistically, Torino does have an outside shot of Champions League football, but they need to win both their games. And they need to see everyone else or a lot of the other teams stumble. Uh, so let's take a look at the games that are going to take place this weekend. Kick it off on the uh, 18th of May, concluding on the 19th of May before we wrap up the season with the final games. Uh, Udinese will take on Spal this weekend. Now, obviously, Udinese is still in the thick of things and they could face the drop, but I see them coming out with a 2-1 win over Spal to make sure uh, they get over the line because I think a win for Udinese will seal the deal. Um, it would uh, or, or could mathematically still be open, but uh, they're doing themselves their world of good uh, with a victory over Spal. Me and Genoa are taking Cagliari. Now Genoa are in uh, 17th spot. They do need a win, uh, but they haven't seen one in a, at least six games. Cagliari on the flip side. Uh, 12th spot seem to be mathematically over the line, but or are they? They are just just shy. Uh, so they're, they're the last team uh, in 12th spot that could go down. They need a result, but they're only going to get a point. So we'll have to see what that does to the grand scheme of things. It does leave Genoa in a bit of a pickle. Uh, and they'll be looking at uh, Empoli's results. Already Frosione and Chievo are playing Serie B. Football next season. Salsulio will take on Roma though this weekend, and Salsulio will get a big fat win for themselves, and that will dent Roma's uh, outside shot of Champions League football, um, and it'll give uh, uh, Salsulio a boost as they try to end the season strongly. They do have a mathematical chance of finishing ninth in the table, but I don't see it happening. Kievo will take on Sampdoria. Obviously, Kievo down. Sampdoria really got nothing to play for uh, in ninth spot, and I see this as a 2 2 draw. Perhaps a little bit of a surprise on the cards, but I think Kievo are going to try and end the season with a little bit of a flurry um, as they'll be playing Serie B next football. I think uh, they'll end their home campaign with a 2-2 draw. Uh, Palmer will take on Fiorentina. Now, Palmer are in... Uh, where are they? They're in 15th spot. They're also in the in the, in the the mix for the relegation up against the Fiorentina side, who have got nothing really to play. Or they're also potentially in the old relegation scrap. So this is a this is a must-win for both teams. Uh, and Palmer are going to pick up a 3-1 win uh, over Fiorentina this weekend. Palmer's obviously recent record is pretty... is, is interesting. Uh, at the past six games, they've drew on five of them and lost their most recent one. But they, they'll come back with a win against Fiorentina whose form book looks absolutely horrific four defeats on the spin in fact they've actually lost five in the past six games uh, and that other one was a draw so watch one one draw and six not great form uh, in the end meanwhile and Pauli will take on Torino there and Pauli are needing a win uh, against Torino who are looking for also a win to keep their outside shot of uh, Europa League football Champions League football on the line but I think Torino will pick up the big fat tuna win to give themselves a boost and leave and Pauli scrambling uh, for the last uh, three points of the season and meanwhile, AC Milan will take on Frosione. Obviously, Frosione down in the doldrums. Serie B football for them next season. AC Milan on the flip side, looking to get into the Champions League, uh, depending on what goes on with Atalanta against Juventus. Uh, this could be uh, a big weekend for AC Milan. And I do see them picking up a 3-0 win over Frosione, and that will give them the three points and maybe just maybe close the gap to just goal difference against Atalanta. But they take on Juventus. Now, obviously, Juventus have been on their holidays for a couple of weeks now, and I still see them not being at their best. I think Atalanta will get the better of them with a 2-1 win away from home to cause a bit of a stir and possibly seal the deal for them, it will. Uh, what, what have I got for Inter Milan yet? Oh, Inter Milan gets Napoli. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Napoli up against Inter Milan. Obviously, Inter Milan come into this in third spot, 66 points on the board. Atalanta picking up the victory against Juventus could see them leapfrog Inter into the third spot, um, and then and then it could open up for a possible uh, AC Milan Inter Milan derby or, or not derby, but a little crunch clash right at the end of the season to see who gets that last fourth spot. But anyway, I do see Inter Milan losing to Napoli uh, this weekend as Napoli try to end the season strongly obviously uh, second place for a long time uh, they can't go up they can't go down they're stuck in second and that's where they'll end the season and wrap it up this weekend's action it'll be Lazio up against Bologna uh, now these games will take place this game tape will take place um, I'm trying to find it on my old uh, Dugan must, must, must be Monday Night Football um, but I see Lazio picking up a 3-1 win over Bologna and that victory for Lazio could push them into a reckoning for a late surge a very very late surge for some Europa League football. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. And if you are new, smash the subscribe. Uh, keep you bang up to date with all things Serie A related, Babin Rovers related, woo, football related. We're going to all here under one roof. And while I still have you, make sure to check out the old description. Links to my other social media platforms are in there. Twitter and Facebook. And of course, the hotly released uh, Patreon page, boys and girls. If you want to check that sucker out uh, and explore uh, an alternative way of supporting the channel, besides your viewership, there are three tiers of support that you can uh, explore, uh, ranging from Academy Prospect all the way through to First Team uh, Regular. Uh, and each, each tier has different kinds of support. But anyway, obviously, this is the penultimate uh, weekend of football over in Italy. We'll come back again next weekend 
to predict the conclusion as the rest of the, the leagues around Europe draw to a close. Italy will join them as we edge closer to the Champions League final, which will officially end the European uh, football, the, the central, the key, the key leagues around Europe, obviously. Up in Scandinavia and all that kind of good stuff. They play weird leagues and weird times. But ultimately, we are drawing to a close. But yes, who will join Juventus and Napoli in that Champions League? It is a very, very tight race. And we'll hopefully have a, a better indication next week. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.